What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 4. Today's episode, I have a feeling it's going to be really, really special. Dimitri messaged us as per last episode, and I think he's fed up with the mob boss, and I think something's going to go down here. I don't know if we're going to end up killing him. I, I do feel like he's powerful enough to the point that it's probably not going to happen at this point if it even does, period. Uh, but I do believe that something interesting will occur, and um, I don't want to waste too much time. I just want to get straight into it. I just robbed this car. Uh, before starting the episode so we can do things a little bit quicker so here we go i think we're just gonna meet here in this little beach area i guess that, that works for me here we go the master and the molotov this is interesting it's so dark dimitri hey Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Faust. Uh-huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. Hmm. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me too. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> oh my god. So that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. <sighs> He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. Damn. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Bellic, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. Damn. Oh my god. We're gonna have to kill this man. Go to Fawson's club. Dude, I did not think this was actually going to happen now. I mean, I had a feeling, but I didn't think it was actually going to happen. Wow. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Hell yeah. Let's go. I'm going to try my best <laughs> not to pull the trigger, you know, prematurely. Uh, there's been a couple of things happening already, and that's... Killing Vlad, which was already one of the mob stirs, or m I guess he wasn't really a mob. He was like a mob puppet. But now we're killing a mobster, like. But there's even there's even higher, higher ups than uh, than the one we're about to do now. So I mean, the, the, the chain of gangsters just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Mr. Faustin is that was his name, right? Faustin, Faustin, Mikhail, whatever. Yeah, Faustin. Dimitri, he just sent me a message. Nico, there can be no mistakes with this. Mikhail is a dangerous man. I've left some protection for you. We're on the side of the club. Your friend Dimitri. Oh, shit. There can be no mistakes with this, huh? Okay. In the dumpster, or not. What is this? Body armor increases the amount of damage you can take. From gunfire. Okay. Okay, I see the body armor equipped. Okay, here we go. And I'm kind of nervous. I'm being honest. I don't think this is going to be one of those interrogation parts. I think this is going to be more like a... Just go in there, guns blazing. 
Niko. Niko Belik. You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over. You brought this on yourself. You push things too far. You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when he killed Vlad. Huh. Dimitri. My brother. Oh my god. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen. Had I not been there, meet for some chin monkey. What the hell's gonna happen here? I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. Guards! Huh. Oh, shit. Let's go, baby. Give up. The strong survive and the weak die. You will see. I am for reason. I want to have some Balkan shit. I don't want to kill you. I made you what you are. I showed mercy to you and your cousin when Dimitri wanted you dead. Do not abandon your leader. Stop this man. It's closing time. Get your gun. Okay, so hold on. What? He's getting away. Get out of here. I can take out this motherfucker right now. Fuck off. Let's go, let's go. I don't care to fight you guys. Holy shit! Never mind. You shall discover this. I am a man of convictions. I've only done what I believe. Will this without me. Everyone. Only I will oh my god. He actually had a whole bunch of gangsters in the alleyway waiting for me. I was not expecting this. I don't want to kill him. Here we go. Too kind. That's what I was. Too kind. I led the snakes into the nest and they destroyed everything. I gave them everything and they took everything from me. Now they've sent you to take the only thing I have left. You have got me cornered. There's nowhere for me to go. Okay. So what do you want to do? Shoot you in the dick. You all happy now? <laughs> Shot in the dick kills him. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what I was supposed to do, right? Faustin is dead. You did a good thing. A hard thing. But a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. Dude, Dimitri's a piece of shit though, not gonna lie. I mean this was his brother. He just told me to kill him like he was nothing like cold-blooded you know what i mean oh it's pretty shitty man i don't know if i trust dimitri now. i i i feel like this is not there's no way like if we just killed this man which was the big mob boss right mr fawson which at least we thought he was at the beginning the, w there has to be something else besides this. like what's gonna happen now oh my goodness Let's see if there's anything down this alleyway anyways. I'm gonna go around. I think there was something like on the ground below him. Pretty sure. I like that you had to kill him though. It adds a lot of... Uh, I don't know. It, it adds a lot of character to the actual story. Nope. Oh my god. I didn't die. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm still alive. Dimitri, you got my money? I have it! 
Meet me at the warehouse on Maganet in downtown Broker. Come along. Oh, I see. The Russian Revolution. Okay, now the thing here is... We're, oh, he's calling. Little Jacob is calling. All right, my brother. Me and him Russian is seriously next to you. I only pissed off one. He's dead. I'm going to meet Dimitri to collect on the hit. Yo, Nico, you better watch your back, you know. Me know you're wicked, but them boy, them are some dog I'm not afraid of him. Yeah, but I can't see. The heart can't leave, but you know. Me, I come with you. Where's the place? A warehouse on Mohanet. I know the one. You see around the back. Oh, shit. All right, things are going to get good now. So we're pretty much, we're supposed to go alone as per Dimitri. But we're going to go pick up little Jacob. I feel like Dimitri probably is setting us up. I mean, why is he saying after every text message he sends us, your friend, your friend, your friend, your friend. Like, if you're my friend, you don't have to keep fucking telling me. Like, you just killed your brother, which you've been with since forever. You just put out a hit on him like if it was nothing. So what does that mean for me? That you just met me a couple days ago. You wanted to kill me what you met me because I killed Vlad, right? We'll see. We'll find out now, I guess. This is going to be super, super interesting. Little Jacob knows what's up, though. He knows that these boys are dangerous. He says it's not it's not safe for me to go alone. I would assume little Jacob is probably gonna be a major Shall role in this story. You don't know my avid scene star. Huh. Hey Nico! Glad you can make it. Yes. You got the money? Sure. But I just wanted to say how grateful me and my bosses are for what you did. Good. Yes. And I just wanted to check something with you. Okay. You are Nico Bellic, correct? What is this? And you used to work the coast in the Mediterranean, smuggling people into Italy. I don't know what you're talking about. But you messed up. Huh. And left a lot of bad debt. You left a good friend of mine out of pocket. Big time. Hello, Nico. Hello, Mr. Bulgarin. What? Where is our money? I don't know. I didn't rob you. Really? We were busted a mile off the coast. I had to swim for my life. I don't know what happened. I nearly drowned. <laughs> My heart is bleeding. I did my best. I didn't fuck up. Oh, there you are. Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. I fucking knew it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to... Shut your ass up. You betrayed us. How dare you. Man, I can't believe this man did this. Dimitri, you piece of shit! You shouldn't have go. killed this man. I I kinda feel bad for, for killing Mr. Boston now. Can I get this guy in there? I think he's like hiding so freaking well. Okay, let's go around. What a setup, dude. Just when I thought, what else is possibly next? Oh shit, the cops are here. Their time will come, trust me. Let's go, baby. Holy crap, dude. Right, I'm running this way. else just when I thought just when I thought what else could possibly be next now that Mr. Fawcett is dead well there you have it Dimitri is a traitor 
He's a son of a bitch. Hold on. Don't kill me, please. I think the story gets deeper and deeper. It's definitely a good thing. I'm going to try and collect all these other things that I haven't collected while we were in this freaking massacre of a war here. So if you guys could please just relax. I think the warehouse is clear. There's, There's a lot of bullets to collect here, man. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These dudes are dropping 100 bullets per body. That is insane. Okay, we got the cops outside. That's not good. We're not going to resist. So do we go upstairs? Do we go downstairs? What? I think we got to go downstairs. There's no way going upstairs is a smart move. Probably just try and get a car and get the hell out of here. Right, let me reload this. I don't care about the police, man. I'm a gangster. Oh, God. There's no way we're going to kill the cops. Let's go, Nico. I mean, the little Jacob, get in the car. Oh, shit. Who's your ones in love? All right. Yo, Here we go. Oh my god, dude. Can we go through here? Oh, now losing the cops is going to be a freaking pain in the ass. That's going to be the issue here. Losing these cops. Go, 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 go. As long as we get out of this little area and we just play it cool, we'll be good to go. Trying to beat our meat. Trying to beat our meat. <laughs> We're playing it Yo, cool. Yo, you lose Babylon, man. Power back at the cafe you now. Yeah, I need to block up some more. Okay, take little Jacob back to his cafe. Dude, now things are going to get good because now... What happens? Now it's just me. I didn't know that Mr. Bogart was here in Liberty City. If I could have killed them all then and there. Just chill in, come on. One at a time. One, one cocoa field basket. See it? You find out where Dimitris, then BAM! You take the rest of them out. Just keep your head down until then. Fucking Dimitri. Made me kill Faust and then he sell me down the river. Just go, Nico. The boy is a general, you know what see? He's gonna make his own downfall. I had a monkey climb the boy and expose a bad boy, you see? <laughs> I will bring Dimitri down myself. I promise you this. Little Jago is awesome, dude. I love this guy. He's fucking awesome. He's a really good character. He's actually developing to be a really, really good character in this game. Can't believe it, dude. He he pretty much used this to kill to kill, you know, Mr. Foster, which is his best friend according to him. But it looks like he was working for the other for the other mob gang all along. Freaking piece of shit. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna speed the bar, man. You keep on alone, call a woman and get out of this place. Hey, thanks for your help, Jacob. One love, my brother. <laughs> your brother. Thank God this man came with us. We would have been dead meat. Dude, that was awesome. That was a really good we development. Oh, there was a robbery there or something? <laughs> you can call Robert to inform him of the situation. Let me call him. Roman, what are you doing? Why are you whispering? Well, I'll be there soon. Jesus Christ, this man's always in trouble. What's going on now? Well, we defused the gangsters. We're still alive and kicking. I this is really good. This feels like a like a real mob a movie in a way. Like GTA 5 was obviously amazing, but this feels more like deep, like darker. Like I don't know, it's just you know, I also like the fact that that there's only one protagonist. Even though the whole GTA 3 protagonist was actually really really cool. 
Uh, but having one character really does develop him a lot more. It's really, really good. I like that. Let's see what's up with Roman. I'm telling you, if this game was current gen with current gen graphics, it'd be insane. Started calling the house and hanging up. You weren't answering your phone. What happened? We've got a big problem. <coughs> Dimitri was not a man of his word. So we're dead. More or less. Everything was fine before yes, you. Yes. Fine, and now this. Thank you. Thanks a lot. It's Vanny. Nevidna. What's done is done. Yes. But there's a bigger problem. What? That guy I owed money to, Bulgarin. Yes. The guy in Europe who lives by the Adrian. Yeah, yeah, he's here now. Uh, great. I'm sorry. I've ruined your life. No, don't be like that. We, we can find a way out of this. Bunch of idiot Russians. I will kill every one of them. No, that's exactly what you won't do. We don't have time for revenge. We can't afford it. What can we afford? Uh, we can lay low and start over. Come on. Let's go back to the apartment. Okay. I like this. We can pick up our stuff and then get out of here. I'll call Mallory. She might have somewhere we can hide out. Roman Roman is an idiot. But he's a really good character and he's funny as shit. He's a comedy of the game. But he's a good cousin. Hey, beautiful. Um... Listen, me and Nico are in a bit of trouble. Um, need to get out of broker a few days. Any of your cousins have a place we could use out in Bowen? You're an angel. Beautiful and kind. I love you. We'll see you there. Alright. Maybe things are not so bad. This I did not expect. I was thinking about getting out of the cab business. Last night I had a dream. Really? Yes. You and I had a place of our own. A place where people come to eat and relax. Classic nice. place. None of this fast food diner bullshit. We own a real restaurant. Tavern is a place of distinction, you know? I can't see myself settling down. Not now. But in the dream, you've met the right woman. She's beautiful. You're like my Mallory. In the dream, Mallory and me are married and everything is perfect. You're kidding me! Oh! Holy fuck, it's oh. fucking burning! The whole place! I've got to go in! I've got to get something! Leave it, Gus. This place is gone. They burnt it! They fucking burnt it, Nico! Dude, no wonder I heard an explosion. It was our freaking apartment. They were trying to kill us. Dude, this game is getting so fucking good. You know how long it took me to get the place of my own? You got off the boat and I was here for you. I know you were. I got here and I had nothing. Nobody! I worked my way up! <laughs> Jesus! It's on fire! Fuck. Look! Look! I've got nothing left! Not my home, not my business, nothing! I took it all! I'm sorry, Roman. I'm really sorry, but we have to go. We'll meet Mallory and Bohan. You still have her. And you! For all the good you've done me! Dude, unbelievable. Oh my god. You know okay. how long it took me to get set up here? You don't, because it was easy for you. You had it all from day one. It took me months to get some cash together. Finally, I bought a cab, and then another. Then I got the depot. I slept under my desk at that place for over a year. Then I got the apartment. The apartment you thought was so shitty. Well, it doesn't matter. And now it's gone, along with everything else. I said I was sorry. You have a lot to apologize for. Since you got here, I've had my computer smashed, I've been beaten up, I was kidnapped, and then <laughs> shot in the stomach! My apartment got burned down and so did my business! Things have been going so great! 
just great since you showed up. You remember that time when we went to the bar back home and found it raised to the ground? Just a pile of rubble. Everything smashed. Except for that one bottle of vodka. Yeah, we sat down and finished it off there and then. Wait, wait. I don't want to talk about back home. We're here in America now. And I should be thinking about my life here. My life, which is ruined. Just drive. Shut up. Drive. <laughs> hey, dear boy. What's up? No, what do you mean? I haven't been crying since my allergies. Because <laughs> wearing this new cologne. <laughs> you had tried to impress Michelle or something. They're coming to your cousins. Are you there? Great. See you in a bit, beautiful. My dream? It was just that. A dream. I can't have the tavern now. I have nothing to buy it with. I, I have nothing. I told you. You still have Mallory. But I wanted to really have her. I wanted to marry her. You can still do that. I had bought her a ring. That is what I wanted to show you. It was a beautiful ring. It was with you. Now I have nothing. Come on. Roman, pull yourself together. You've been here before. Positive, mental attitude. Come on. At least they want me dead, and not you. I do not think it will be much difference to them, Nico. One dead Belik will give them a little bit of happiness while they wait for next. I do not care. We are in this situation. We must deal with it. Bring on the Bohan. Okay. All right. Damn, this thing is amazing. Here Holy we are. Hell. The beginning of our new lives. Again. Jesus Christ. This game is getting so intense. Not so bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we'll be impressing women with our wonderful hot tub, but uh, this looks okay. Yes. Great. Come on, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Where should I start? All right, I'll start with you. What's wrong with you? Fifteen minutes ago, you were cowering in fear because you didn't know what was going to happen. Now, you know everything is shit, and you're going to be killed, and you're all cheerful. I don't get it. I guess I'm an optimist. An idiot, not an optimist. I was bored of Broker anyway. I'm glad you turned up and made some Russian killers burn down my oh. home and business. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Nico. Thanks a bunch. Is that better? March! Thank God you're okay. Both of you. We're fucked. We're broke and on the run. No, I'm from up here, Nico. I know a bunch of people who might be able to help out. Why don't you come and meet me at the community center later on? I gotta go to work. Bye, Papi. <laughs> and have a shower. You smell a little, um, mature. So, I guess we start again. Wow. Sure. How everything just changed. I'm going out. <laughs> Dear God, the lowest points. Oh my God. I mean, I think this apartment is better, to be honest. I, I do believe this apartment is a lot nicer than the other one. That's just me though. Okay. We're in a different neighborhood now. A nicer neighborhood, or maybe not nicer, but I don't know. We'll see, let's go talk to Michelle. Let's meet up Michelle here at a job. What she's got for us. There we go. Little Jacob. Cha, I still vexed about the dog heart, Dimitri. You got them rude driving skills to get. I and I away from there. Keep your head down and keep in touch. Easy LJ.
Escuela of the Street. School of the Street. This is the one oh. that we're going to get a really nice what shot of. What the hell is this? I mean, you okay. caught him. He's moved. No. Nope. Right. We want to make sure that we see them. Okay. okay well, we want to see you. Just too. film it, man. Okay. Well, just keep looking at me, but stand over there. Okay. <laughs> you here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Very cool. Good. Okay. Yeah. Go. Beautiful. Oh, my right. goodness. You ready for this? Yes, I am. Turn this way, please. Turn this way. Five. Yeah. Six. Looking at me. Seven. Eight. Good. 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 Right over here. Oh, this shit. Is your <laughs> this way. Yes. What the fuck good. is this? Good. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. That's how I look, man. You look good. I, I know gay? this song, no, no, no. It's, it's and I know it's gonna get copyright okay. strike. Okay, this video is gonna get yeah. striked for sure. See, it's the streets, man. But people gotta understand the struggles for real. You know what I'm oh saying? Oh my god! They gotta understand the struggles. What the yeah. fuck is this? This video is gonna get oh, striked. Hey, oh my god! <laughs> Jesus. This is my boyfriend's cousin, the guy I was telling you about, Nico. How's my Roman doing anyway? For a guy who just lost his home and his business, <laughs> and now has a price on his head. Pretty good. <laughs> I love his optimism. So, Nico, this is Manny. We grew up together. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Streets, man. <laughs> this is the guy I told you about who beat up all those thugs and broke us. Yeah, great. Listen, Melody, would you uh, give us a little space, please? All right, all right. Okay, yeah, great. So, uh, so you know, streets take no prisoners, right? But, you know, kids need hope. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my really? God. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you gotta break some omelets to make some eggs. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and... Uh... Yeah, well, you know, we gotta clean up some eggs, brother. We're gonna clean them up, you know? Yeah, yeah, right here, right here. Turn around, man, right here. Here, Manny <laughs> Escuela is rapping with a street accomplice about cleaning up the streets yeah. of Moab. Yeah, turn that off. Wait, 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 criminals wait are <laughs> trying to reform their neighborhood. Wait. Hey, hey, please, hey, hold on a second. Doing? Hey, what? Oh, yeah. shit. Manny! Nico, don't fuck around! Uh, okay, this song is going to get me strike, man. That. that was great. <laughs> Thank you very much. That'll be all for today. Thanks a lot. What are you doing? What are you saying? What? We got to get some of these dealers off the streets, man, you know? Uh, and I want him to know it was me, man. Fine. Just uh, don't point the camera at me when you're doing it. Well, that's my testimony, man. Look, brother, would you help, please? Look, I got money. I got, I got money. In which case, you've got help. Good. All right. Hey, how's the camera? It's not good. What do you mean it's no good? Can, Just can you don't tape even... Okay. All right, okay. Well, listen, look. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get all these dealers off the streets, and we're going to kick their ass, and they're going to know it was me. We need a car if we're going to clean these streets. All right, Holmes. Get out of vehicle with Manny. All right, this is a new character. Okay. Where the hell's the car I had parked over here? Come on, me and Manny need to rob somebody. Get your ass out that car. Okay, this guy's actually stationary. Get out the car. Yo, move. What? Okay, whatever, man. I'm just gonna steal one of these. You know that? Forget it. We'll just steal one of these, Manny. Gonna break that window. <gasps> There's a cop right there. Last I heard, these dealers was up on Grand Boulevard. Let's go to take a look, man. Oh my God, there's a cop right there, dude. All right, here we go. So you and Mallory is tight, huh? She and your cousin is together now. I love that girl, man. I love her, man. Your cousin better not be messing with her head. You're gonna propose, right? He's gonna make an honest woman of her, right? I think that's as much of a decision. The dealer and his drug wagon are up there. Pull up behind him, we wait. I don't know if he's grown up enough to make a good husband. What's it to you, anyway? I didn't know you and Mallory was that close. Shit, man. Manny's close to everyone who grew up in the streets of South Bohem, man. They're my people, all right? Sure. Oh, shit. Taking out gangsters now. Talk about... There he be. We got to follow him to them other leeches, man. They be sucking the damn life out of these streets. Talk about keeping your head low, right? Follow the dealers and we don't let him know you're following him. Okay. This is also good because we get to explore different parts of the map. Apparently, cool. the mob teaches people to stay two car lengths behind the target. Oh man, we're gonna have to do this real slow. This dude even crashed. <laughs> As long as I got the mini map, I know we're good. Oh yeah, this is definitely Man, new territory. This is how to roll. Did 
Jesus Christ, this man drives like a freaking girl. Come on. I'm not saying you girls drive bad, I'm just saying. You drive very patiently. These streets is mine, man. I can feel them flowing through my veins. You sound like you got something else in your veins. Man, I ain't touched that shit in years. <laughs> Who you been talking to, man? I'm clean, man. Serene. Fucking serene. Oh, I'm sorry. You ever thought about doing some TV? You might be able to get a series of the back of mine, you know? Ego, Bellic, Street Justice, bro. Not really my scene. Just wait till you see your face on the screen, man. Maybe you change your mind then. Yeah, I always wanted to be a well-known idiot. People say to me, Manny, why you do this? Why you want to clean up the street so bad? What's your passion? Do you tell them to get famous? It's for the love, man. They know me because I help people, man. I'm all love, kid, for these streets. How cringe is that? Holy cow. This man is cringe. The king of cringe has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Where are these drug dealers, anyway? I know we're trying to stay two cars away to not look suspicious, but this looks very suspicious. I think we're here. Please tell me we're here. Sorry, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to get that close, but you know. There we go. Get out the way, sucker. Looks like he's about to stop, yo. You best pull up behind him, man. Park behind the dealer. Here we go. Follow him into that warehouse and get rid of the dealers. How about you, man? What are you gonna do? You just get sit here, and wait for me, or? I thought you were going to clean up the streets. <laughs> hey, the message is what's important, man. It don't matter who gives it. I, for one, ain't in this shit for the ego trip. You taking my money, aren't you? Be my voice. I'm gonna go back and get Jay. All right, the dealer went into the warehouse. Get him. All right, here we go. Doors locked. Let me go through the back door. Or a back alley or something. Huh. Uh, if the door is locked, how the hell do we get in here? To the top, maybe? Oh, I see. Hmm. It's gotta be... Oh, what is that? What? Ah, oh, but I don't want to get rid of this, though. I mean, I'm sure this is probably better, but still. Manny, what do you say? When the streets close the door, they open a window. Oh, there's a window there. Just don't know if we can get through this window. Oh, <laughs> okay. I guess you do get through this window. Can't hide now. Cut him up, boys. <gasps> oh, shit. You you oh. oh. Damn. All right, all right. You got the gangster. Oh, yeah. This guy is definitely better. Oh, let's go, baby. I like this. Oh, my God. Oh. So the boxes. You like? You like this? You like shotguns, you little punk ass? Come here. Right. Yeah, that's right. Come on. You about to get body. Yeah. One more. You know who I am, fucking Nico Pellet, you piece of shit. Next time, don't mess with me. I don't think they were actually messing with you. I think the um... What is this? 
Ah, okay, so you can swap between weapons. I didn't want that weapon, though. I actually like this new one that I had. I guess I just dropped it now. Well, that's dumb. I don't know if the stats are any different. I don't know if, like... Shut the door out. All right, one sec. Let me, let me, let me get these bullets. Let me get these bullets going here. Okay. Enemies in this game actually give you a shit ton of bullets, which is good. Perfect. I wish I could pick up the other gun, though. Like, can I go to the store now? Now that I've unlocked it, like, just buy for free or something? Or how does that work? Buy a soda? I don't, don't want to buy a fucking soda. Dude, what happens if I buy a soda? Let me see. What if I just shoot it up? Probably gives me health, right? Okay. And if you shoot it... You get no soda. Okay. I'm gonna go around here. Alright, there we go. Well, let's get out of here. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Manny was setting me up. This was a little intense. There was a lot of people inside the that warehouse. Warrior stands yeah. outside the site of another gangland massacre. Strike. Oh, cut. What? Okay. What? Oh, could you walk out of there just one more time? We need to get the shot just right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I can put my foot to your face if you like. I don't mind doing that again oh, and again till oh, I get it right. Easy, easy, Nico. Hey, they look good? Huh? Was it a good mixture of that sadness and resolve? <laughs> you looked great. Great. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, from the top? Yeah, right here. Wait, wait where are you going? More senseless death than the police aren't even here yet. Help has only one name on the streets of South Bowen. Manny Escuela. That's right. Follow me. We'll be prepared. Street life ain't pretty. Oh, my God. What a freaking idiot. What an idiot. All right. Well, we got Manny's contact. We completed this mission. We're, we're pretty much living life on the run right now. Um, in a way, we got a new place. We're hiding from the mob. Dimitri is piece of shit and i want to kill him really badly i kind of feel bad for uh mr faustin but he's dead now and uh we were set up it was all a setup the story's getting really compelling not gonna lie really really interesting uh, but i just want to say thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed your stay here if you want more gta 4 daily make sure you guys are leaving a like on these videos that lets me know you guys are enjoying them and it just overall motivates me to bring more daily episodes thank you guys so much as always catch you later